Bhagwan, um, in order for people to give diksha, at this time everybody is required to come here and to do a 21 day preparation course. What happens during the 21 day course? In these 21 days, we are basically trying to activate the nadis to clean up the chakras and uh, to make the system responsive to cosmic energies. That's what we are actually trying to do in the 21 days. Once a sufficient um, amount of energy is released into the system, then you make it. Could you, could you say a little bit more about the 21-day course? What, what happens there? Is it lectures? Is it, uh, is it a lot yes, of meditation? Uh, uh, what we are doing is, uh, one is we are giving you some teachings, and the other is we are giving you dikshas to help you realize those teachings. Understanding them intellectually is one thing, but to actually realize them is something totally different. So it is a combination of teaching and uh, a diksha, uh, which gives you the necessary transformation. So we are trying to actually bring down the lobes of the brain and uh, make you experience the state. That's what we are trying to do in the 21 days. It was an amazing journey. Or I cannot say it was because the journey continues. It, it was something in one way very well known and in another way so new. Like I used to be first a medical doctor and then a therapist and then a spiritual teacher. So the topics, especially in samskara shruti, were very familiar to me and I have been teaching very, very similar to what I heard Bhagwan Sher and Ananda Giri Ji and Samdashini Ji. And yet the the big the big difference or the, the major addition is grace is the direct experience of the teaching. And um, this has been going through all the three phases that what was so amazing for me and so beautiful is that the teaching stayed very simple, very precise, directly to the point, and then the mind didn't need to figure it out. The personality didn't need to try and fix itself because it's impossible. But the opening to a space of grace where the divine, in this case in the form of Amma and Raghwan, were directly showing the teaching as an experience. And that, for my old therapist mind, has been mind-blowing because we worked so hard for years and years with meditation, with therapy. And yes, a lot of transformation has happened. But I would have never thought that it would be so easy. What I experienced was a relaxation that I hadn't known before. There was one moment in the process where the relaxation was so, so, so deep. And I still feel it with me. Yeah, it hasn't left me since. Just a 
a deep relaxation and oneness with whatever happens as it arises in consciousness. Hi, my name is Dr. Ruth.